What's happening, people? Uh, welcome to the United Stand. I'm here with Ingrid. We are baking hot, like it's so hot. I'm a noodle soup inside. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. It's starting to come through. I mean, <laughs> we feel it for them, and we can obviously feel it here. But listen, thank you for taking time out to, to give us your thoughts on Manchester United. We always see Ingrid in the presser. She's always there, Norwegian compatriot. Do you get pre like preferential treatment because you're Norwegian? Nah. <laughs> no, no, no. Just um, equal, the yeah. way it should be. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Now, listen, Manchester United, what have you made of the summer so far for Manchester United? We've got a little bit longer of the tour to go, We're just over halfway, I'd say. What's your thoughts on us? Well, I've been with them now since Australia and then Singapore and now Shanghai. And I must say, I think that things look pretty good. Uh, it's obviously that uh, Oli is sort of pushing them with the, the physical stuff. And it seems like the boys are enjoying it as mm. well. They like to be pushed like that. And it seems like there is a good vibe in the squad as well. Um, when I spoke to Oli earlier today, he was very like positive and you can tell that it's something good is going on. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And he yeah. feels confident in, 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 in the group of players he had. We've just come from the press conference. He said, you know, he answered the question, if you don't get any more transfers, how confident are you with that? Do you believe him when he says that, when he says, you know, I'm happy with what I've got in terms of if nobody else arrived, he would be 100% happy? Or do you think that's kind of, well, he has to say that? Well, yeah, well, he has to say yeah. it, but uh, I genuinely believe that he, you know, as a manager, you have to believe in the players you've got to work with. If not, things aren't going to work out anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't think that we can do and make something great in this club as it is as well, mm -hmm. then the two sides are way off. Mm -hmm. So I think that he has to believe in them. Uh, and hopefully he will get the most out of this one, like he did when he came in, in December, when they had a really good run. So I think it's about finding that good energy uh, back into the squad. Mm. Uh, it's a lot in the head, mm. I think, yeah. And he seems like, like you said, smiles, smiles on faces, <laughs> good energy. We saw Scott McTominay as well. He seemed very happy and said that even the downtimes have been good. <laughs> Daniel James and Wambasaka. We've seen the type of players that they are in terms of the mould. They've got potential, they're young. Do you think United are going to continue to try and buy in this way to further invest in this window if they do strengthen? Um, can you say that again, that so, question? So basically, with the type of mould that they are, the young yeah. players that have come in, in, mm -hmm. in James and Bissaka, they're young, they've got a lot more to give. If we strengthen further in this transfer window, do you think they'll go for more experienced, older players, or they'll stick with that mould, trying to find the younger player who, who as Oli says, they can, they can progress into top players? I think that... Uh, for Oli, uh, it's about finding that perfect match. Mm. It doesn't have to be uh, a young one with a great potential. If that's not the right fit, he should go for a more experienced mm. one uh, with quality like straight away. But I think for Oli, he's going to choose like what's the best for my team. Which mm. player can I bring into my team which will give the team more? Mm. Uh, both now and in long term. So, yeah, could be both. Absolutely. And just to finish off, Ingrid, Manchester United's expectations next year. Where do you sit with their expectations? What would be a good season for Manchester United? What would be a good stepping stone, considering how badly we finished last season? What do you think Oli thinks would be progression and what do you think would be good progression? Uh, well, Oli has spoken about trophy. Uh, so that would be um, maybe Europa League would mm. be a good way to get into that Champions League spot again. Mm. Um, I I don't think that they are able to compete with City. I don't think Liverpool. anyone does. I mean, Liverpool uh, and City are so far yeah. away from the rest of the league right now. Exactly. And to claw back where we was to that, it's yeah. just not going to happen, is it? So, I would say if they manage to get into top four, mm. that would be a really good season mm. for Manchester United, the way I see it. And if they do get a trophy, that would be a bonus. Mm. Do you think the yeah. fans are happy? Do you think, not happy overall, but do you think they need to be patient? Do you think they will be happy with, with that as a forecast? Well, sort of, they have to be, they are fans, you're supposed to support yeah, your, your club uh, no matter what. And I think that in the times like these, when they ended the last season quite poorly, mm. that's when you need your fans absolutely. to believe in them. Um, so whatever they do, just stick by them. And I think in the end, it will be a really good thing. Um, Oli said to me today that he really believes that this is just a start of something really great. But how long it's going to be, we don't know. So that patience among the fans as well it's is vital, isn't important. It? It's vital, yeah. it is. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so I'll much. let you get off to get some nice water or something to help with this because yeah. it's just too hot. Can you, can you bear much more of this? 
Uh, no, uh, <laughs> as Norwegian, I think I can speak from behalf of Ole as well. We are not used to this <laughs> at all. Well, we're going to not Norway next. What's the weather like in Norway? We're going to be all right. It's not going to be like this, it's is it? It's hot in Norway as oh. well. Oh, yeah. I don't know how we're going to cope. Uh, we'll see you guys there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you, Ingrid. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, like, subscribe, and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.